In this video, we will learn about forms of ratios. First, let's talk about what a ratio is. A ratio is a way to compare two numbers or two quantities. Over here, notice that we have five green dots and two red dots. A ratio could help us to represent the number of green dots compared with the number of red dots. The ratio of green to red is 5 over 2. That's because there are five green dots and only two red dots. Another way of writing a ratio besides as a fraction is with a colon, like this. And when you read that, you would read it as 5 to 2. So the colon is read as 2. The third way of writing a ratio is actually just to write it out and to write out 5 to 2. So the ratio of green to red is 5 to 2. Now if we changed it around and talked about instead the ratio of red to green, then everything would flip. And the 2 and the 5 would switch places. So you have to pay attention to the way you are wording what you're talking about, if you're talking about red to green or green to red, and make sure you start with the right number. So if you're talking about red to green, then your ratio would be 2 over 5, or 2 to 5, or 2 to 5. Now all three forms that a ratio can take are perfectly acceptable. You will have to choose which form you want to use based on the situation. If you're going to have to do a lot of calculations, I would recommend using the fraction because the fraction will help you to be able to do the math and manipulate and do the calculations. If you're writing something out, it's nice to be able to do it with the words or with the colon. But ultimately, it's really up to you. So the main things you should remember here are there's three ways that you can represent a ratio, and a ratio is just a way to compare two numbers. And you always want to be careful about what exactly you're trying to say. So like in this case, we had to be careful about if we were talking about green to red versus red to green, because that switched the way the ratios looked.